Hi guys. It is a lovely but chilly night here in what's left of the paradise of Inverness, Florida. When I'm feeling better and better about Inverness will probably be my new winter home for the end times here. But it is now a chilly Tuesday night, March 5th, 2019, and I have got a long drive. I'm going to try to make Lake Charles, Louisiana by tomorrow night, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get today's or tomorrow's We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day. It's I, you know, I'm sitting here trying to figure out and so these are some of my choices for my last rant from Florida we have Indonesia court allows dam in orangutan habitat to proceed no shit Sherlock. environmentalists lost a court challenge Monday to a Chinese backed dam in Indonesia that will rip through the habitat of the most critically endangered orangutan species on earth. The state administrative court ruled that construction of the dam can continue despite critics of the hydroelectric project providing evidence that its environmental impact assessment was deeply flawed. No shit, Sherlock. So I could go on with that one, or of course we could move up to the Bering Strait. The Bering Strait should be covered in ice now, but it is nearly all gone. No shit, Sherlock. During winter, the Bering Strait has historically been blanketed in ice, but this year the ice has nearly vanished. Quote, the usually ice-covered Bering Strait is almost completely open water, said climatologist, University of California climatologist Zach Laby. No shit, Sherlock. Or we could have yet another study uh, pointing out ocean heat waves are threatening marine life. No shit, Sherlock. When deadly heat waves hit on land, we hear about them, but the oceans can have heat waves too. They are now happening far more frequently than they did last century and are harming marine life, according to a new study. From coral reefs to kelp forest to seagrass beds, researchers found that these heat waves are destroying the framework of many ocean ecosystems. No shit, Sherlock. But anyway, guys, uh, I could go on with any of these stories and develop them into a full We Are So Fucked rap, but, you know, I'm still trying to hang on to my vacation from the Doomosphere, and I want to thank uh, Alert Tribes member Jeff. I had the uh, pleasure of spending the weekend with Jeff and Tammy. Uh, at Fish Eating Creek this week, and uh, Jeff wanted to cheer me up by sending me this uh, article from none other than Fox News, and I think this is a damn good place to wind up my trip to Florida with some good news, some good news coming out, uh, I believe from the uh, shithole country of India. It is about time that we can have some good news in the doomosphere from the shithole country of India. Take it away, Fox News, and put a big smile on all our faces. Man crushed to death 
by elephant after whipping it to sit down during a bath. A man was crushed to death by an elephant in his care after he beat it with a stick to make it sit down while washing it, only for it to slip in its bath water. Just before the death of clueless fucking moron Aaron Panikar, age 40, video shows him whipping the animal so hard to make it sit down that he appears to lose his balance and slip. The elephant then sits down directly on top of him. He was killed instantly at the animal housing site located in Kerala, India. Hallelujah, one more clueless fucking moron eradicated from the planet. Another caretaker then runs to Panikar's rescue, also whipping the animal to attempt to make it stand back up, which takes some time. When the animal stands up, it appears to have Panikar's blood on his back. I guess we'll have to get the elephant back in the bathtub to wash the clueless fucking moron blood off his back. There you go. The other caretaker is seen attempting to pull Panikar's body out from under the elephant, but fortunately, it was too late. Yes, later investigation showed that Panikar's skull was crushed by the animal, resulting in his immediate death. An investigation is now being launched into the animal's care as it was reportedly owned by a local hospital trust. There you go. So we do have some good news. Some good news here in the Doomosphere on my last uh, night in Florida. Yes. Uh, and I love this one from Fox News. 20 places where $150,000 is enough to retire. <laughs> there you go. Uh, anyway, guys, it is going to be 35 degrees tonight here in Inverness, Florida, in my tent. After it being uh, 90 degrees last week we have Sancho Panza for his last night in Florida. Sancho Panza, like me, we're both wearing our Alaska parkas tonight. Heading back to Texas tomorrow, I will try to send out a report from Lake Charles, Louisiana tomorrow night. Smoke them while you got them. Smoke them if you got them. That should be. And we all know why. Like that elephant beater in India, we are so fucked. Bye, guys.